Welcome to another edition of Adam Curry Presents. I hope you guys are tuning into the Summer of Games. Well, we're counting down to the final weeks of our Summer of Games. It was been a fantastic summer to you all, and hope you're enjoying it. On today's episode, we got a guy who's winning big on a classic 1978 episode of Joker's Wild. Coming up next. What the hell? Hi. Surprise. You look really pretty. You want to tell me what's going on? I talked to Trish. There's no Bobette's dinner. Oh. Oh, that was just a story I told your mom so she wouldn't ask questions. Bobette stuff always gets a pass, right? Cover for what exactly? Um, a party? A college party? It'll be fun, I swear. I mean, when do you ever get to live on the edge, you know? I think I need you to get me into a party. I think you're really gonna like this one. I heard that Tony was gonna be there, unless you're like totally not into him anymore. Step of the cheerleader, coming soon to the Channel 9's million dollar movie. Beautiful music, always relaxing. WRFM Stereo 105. Liz, you can't go on a business trip. I'll starve. All I can make is hamburger. Why settle for dull hamburger? Make a super bird's eye supper. Me? It's easy. Mix hamburger with bird's eye Americana San Francisco style vegetables. Only bird's eye green beans, bean sprout, seasoned sauce, and crunchy topping can make a dinner. Fantastic. Still need me? Yes, but I won't starve. <laughs> Bird's Eye Americana and International Vegetable Recipes. Why settle for dull? Make a super Bird's Eye Supper. Jean-Claude Keedy, international ski champion, talks about Schwinn. In Europe, everyone goes nearly everywhere on bicycles. Cycling saves gas. It's economical, fun, and a good way to exercise. Ride to work. Go shopping for short trips or errands. If you want to save gas, ride a new Schwinn. Add a basket or a carrier and go like I go. Go by Schwinn. Spick and Span presents Barefoot Clean. Barefoot. Americans love to go barefoot. Barefoot. And that calls for clean floors. Barefoot. I'm glad I use Spick and Span, because Spick and Span gets my floors barefoot clean. Spick and Span cuts through greasy, built-up kitchen dirt better than the leading liquids. Barefoot. Get your floors barefoot clean with Spick and Span. Carlos Bulba will continue after these messages. There are 25 species of animals in New Jersey threatened with extinction. You can help prevent them from disappearing from our environment forever. If you care, please write New Jersey Endangered Species Project, Box 1809, Trenton, New Jersey, 08625. Having a family to come home to is something we often take for granted. You see, my brother and I were adopted, and for a long time we didn't have a home. So for us, every moment with our family is something special. Share your world with a child. For more information on adoption, contact Edwin Gould Services for Children at 889-8410. Now, 
now join Benny Hill for more outrageous late evening entertainment. Television as you like it. Tonight at 11, here on Channel 9. current champion ran his winnings up to a staggering amount of money and he has a, he's right in the midst of a very critical game so we will not delay let's have jay stewart reintroduce the current champion and his challenger jack here's that champion returning with twenty seven thousand seven hundred dollars in cash and merchandise and one lucky suit here's hal sheer and his opponent is a salesperson and writer from chicago illinois meet kathy shelley Kathy and Hal, nice to have you back with us. As, uh, we interrupted our last program. You were in the lead, Hal, and Kathy was trying desperately to end this marvelous streak that you're on. I noticed that you are winning, wearing your lucky suit again. I certainly am. You've worn that now for several days here on The Joker's Wild. You've won over $27,000 with it, and you are going to continue to wear it? I will not take it off till I you, lose. If you're lucky and stay on long enough, that suit may come back in style. <laughs> It may come on by itself very shortly. I should point out, Hal, as you know very well, and as I've been pointing out, and now I've checked my records, you are at the very moment, this moment, the second largest money winner in the long history of the Joker's Wild. Only Mark Glucksman has beaten you. He won over 33,000. You have 27,000, and so a victory to become number one is within sight. Kathy, how do you feel about playing against this guy? Oh, hey, no problem. No problem. <laughs> really? You like it, huh? Yeah. Well, since you're so sadistic and like it so much, I'll point out that the score when we ended our game was $200 for you and $450 for a Hal Shear. And I'll show you again the categories we were playing with and which will be in use in this game. They were and are Capital Cities, followed by TV comedy shows, World War II, Rogers and Hammerstein, and finally, Famous Residences. As our time ran out, with $200 for you, Kathy, it was your turn to go. Spin and good luck. Thank you. You have Famous Residences, The Joker, and Capital Cities. Um, Famous Residences for 100, please. With the probable exception of Buckingham Palace, number 10 Downing Street is the most famous residence in London, England. Name the English government official who makes number 10 Downing Street his home. The Prime Minister. Correct. And you go to $300. <laughs> Big opportunity for you, Hal Shear. Spin, see what you get. Well, let's see a joker. Please, a joker. Famous residences, Rogers and Hammerstein, and a pair. Famous residences for 50, Jack, please. Which is all you need. Answer this question correctly. You will have $500. Added to what you were previously winning, you'll be winning $28,200. Here is the question. For $28,200, Detective Sherlock Holmes lived in London on a particular street. All that money if you can name the street. Is that Baker Street? Yes, for $28,200. Winning his seventh game and bringing his total winnings up to $28,200 is our champion, Hal Shear, who now will play his seventh bonus game. Well, Kathy, you'll know at least that you are in one whale of a contest here. Yeah, that's for sure. One that's liable to go down in history on this program. And backstage will be some nice consolation prize. Let's say goodbye to Kathy Shelley. Thanks, Dick. We'll be back for the seventh time against the devil after this. In a moment, Hal Shear will play for the seventh time against the devil. Before that, may I remind you that he has won one car. He's won two games of the second batch of programs. If he could win three more games, he'd win this additional car. Yes, here it is, the brand-new Buick Skylar. 
It's the high-energy ignition powered by the economical even-firing V6 engine. Yes, for efficient and optimum fuel economy, it's the Buick Skylark. Then from test zone to antifreeze, the flush and fill kit enables car owners to professionally flush cooling system and install antifreeze in minutes. Test zone to flush and fill kit. Now back to Jack Berry. Now we invite you, Hal Shearer, to come on over and face the devil again. How do you feel about everything that's happening to you? Oh, it's like a dream, Jack. My wife and I both, uh, we, we've been on cloud nine since the last show, and, uh, I mean, as long as it keeps going, I don't know when we're going to come down. I mean, I know it's going to end sometime, but uh, we just... You uh, bet it is. We don't have much more money left. <laughs> is your wife with you this time? No, she's not with oh, me again. Oh, what a shame. I'm awfully sorry she's not here, but still, we're going to play the bonus game. Up on the wheels, nothing but money and the devils. As you know, every time you spin and avoid the money, you get the prizes. If you can get to $1,000 or more without seeing that devil, not only will you get the money, but these gifts as a bonus. Hal, this time it's the Joker's Wild Home and Travel Package. First, you'll have meals in minutes with the Roper Microwave. It does it all the regular cooking way. Warms rolls, low simmer soups, high simmers casseroles, roast turkeys, even defrost frozen vegetables and meats. Roper Microwave Oven. Next, entertain and elegance with this genuine pewter set from Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. Includes coffee set, wine decanter with six goblets, centerpiece, and a pair of candlesticks. All furnished by the Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. And you'll relax in this rocker and recliner. Action Mates, a recliner and matching swivel rocker with the same beautiful proportions and styling of conventional living room chairs. Action recliners furnished by Lane. Next, put your fun on film with this 35mm camera. This is the Yashica FR2 system featuring the fully automatic FR2 2 camera with electromagnetic shutter and ever-ready case. From Yashica, it's the newest generation of electronic photography. And finally, Hal, you'll need plenty of film for that camera because we're flying you to picturesque Peru! Enjoy the sunny Spanish spirit of a country filled with ancient history and cultural charm. Peru, one of the most sophisticated countries in South America. Proud of its traditions and tourist trade, it's a nine-day holiday in Peru. Compliments of the Joker's Wild, furnished by Club Universe. And how this home and travel package is worth in cash and prizes, over $3,800. I can tell you that if you can get through this series of spins without seeing the devil, you will have grand total winnings of about $32,000, a little, little less than Mark Luxman won. He was in the $33,000 range. But you have to avoid that devil. Good luck. Okay, let's rub that lucky suit again. It's worked five times. Let's go again. <laughs> First spin gets him 50. Oh. Lucky suit wasn't too lucky that time. Better change the suit. Scott, <laughs> don't change a thing, because we're going to get you into the next game. This will be your eighth game coming up, and you'll get a chance, if you win this game, to come back here and do it again. A big hand for a very big winner. Go right over there. And here he goes with $28,000 in, 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 his, in his pocket. He cannot lose that. He goes into game number eight against this challenge. Jack, coming up now, a pharmacy student. Her hobbies are skiing and reading. Meet Adrian Carter. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Jack. Where are you going to school? I'm a pharmacy student at USC, and I have one busy year left before I graduate. Too busy for a boyfriend? No, I have a boyfriend. He's also in my class in pharmacy school. And we mix a lot of prescriptions together. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You mix prescriptions together. Well, yes. that's very nice. That's what they call having a mixer? Yes. <laughs> We're delighted to have you here on the program. Let me show you and Hal Shear. You were nervous about playing against him? I think Hal better get off the show so he'll have time to enjoy all the trips and the car he's won. Well, you'll have to beat him in order to get him off. Here are the categories you can use to beat him with. Okay. They are potluck, could be any category. That's followed by Julius Caesar. News 78, annual events, and the stock exchange. As you know, the challenger always goes first, and so, Adrian, it's up to you. Okay, come Good on, luck. jokers. Stock exchange, annual events, and potluck. Uh, annual events for $50. Every year on the first Saturday in May, a bunch of three-year-olds race one and a quarter miles, and the winner receives $250,000. 
Name this Louisville horse race. The Kentucky Derby. Correct, for $50. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the race game, Hal Shear. Good luck. Come on, let's see some jokers. Be good to me. Joker, potluck, and Julius Caesar. Let's try potluck for 100, Jack. The place, Westmoreland County, Virginia. The date, February 22nd, 1732. 1732. The event, the birth of a future American president. What name was given to that newborn baby? Thomas Jefferson. Nope. $100 if you can tell me, Adrian. George Washington. That's right. You go to $150. <laughs> and now, as anyone can plainly see, for the one of the few times since he's assumed the championship, Hal Shear is really seriously behind. It is your second spin, Adrian. Need a joker. Joker, annual events, the stock exchange. Um, I'll take annual events for 100, please. In 1976, driver Johnny Rutherford raced only 255, 255 miles to win this event that is normally 500 miles long. For another $100, name this classic Memorial Day event. The Indianapolis 500. Correct. And you go to $250. Okay. That particular race was short because of a rainstorm. Your spin, Hal, you must catch up to stay in the game. Okay, let's see some jokers. Stock exchange, pot luck, and a joker. Let's try the stock exchange for 100, Jack. The government organization which is in charge of the stock exchange is abbreviated by the initials SEC. What do those initials SEC stand for? It's the Securities Exchange Commission. You have your first $100. Score 250 to 100. You still have a lot of catching up to do. Adrian. Okay. News, Joker, oh. and a triple. Okay, News 78 for $200. Correct answer here would bring you to $450 just $50 short of breaking his record. Her wedding celebration was attended by movie stars and heads of state. Give me the name of the 21-year-old princess who married a Parisian playboy named Philippe Junot. Princess Caroline. Correct. Grimaldi, you go to $450. Score now stands 450 to 100. You need a lucky spin, Hal. Lucky spin, let's see some jokers, three of them. Stock exchange, hot luck, and a joker. Let's try uh, the stock exchange for 100 for again. Correct answer brings you to $200. Tech, a terminology used in a poker game describes certain common stocks, which usually command a high price because of public confidence in their stability. What is the poker term for such a stock? Blue chip. Yes, you're at $200. <laughs> Score, 450 to 200. And Adrian, there's no way you cannot go over the top but, of course, Hal will get his final spin. Give him a whirl. Okay. Hot luck, uh -oh. news, and a joke. Okay, I'll take news, 78 for $50. All right, playing it the KG way. Correct answer brings you to $500. That's all you need to win and to terminate his lengthy streak. But, of course, he does get a final spin. In July of 1978, the Supreme Court decided that the University of California could not exclude an applicant on the basis of racial quotas alone for $500 and a possible win. Give me the name of this controversial Supreme Court decision. The Bakke decision. Wait for $500. <laughs> Hal, I'm gonna suggest that you rub that suit. <laughs> There's only one way you can win and stay in the game. You must get three jokers. Anything that comes up other than jokers your glorious reign is over, and the new champion would be Adrian Carter. You feel it all lucky? Um, <laughs> let's hope so. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. Joker! Joker! Gentlemen, I, don't, I can't calculate the odds of against that happening. As you know, 
all life is a game of odds, but they may be as much as 100,000 to one or 200,000 to one to happen at that particular moment when he needed it. I can't, I'm not a mathematician, I can't calculate it. You still have one chore to do. You have to pick a category and I'll give you a question. Well, let's try new 78, Jack. Here's the question. If you answer correctly, you win the game. We add another $500 to your score. You'll be up to 30, you'll be up to $29,300. And you'll get a chance to 28,700, as a matter of fact. If you miss this question, it's over. And Adrian is the champion. Listen very carefully, ladies and gentlemen, please, very quiet. Called the showplace of the nation, this New York City tourist attraction was scheduled to close its doors in 1978. Look at that face. <laughs> However, the closing was postponed for at least another year. For your eighth straight victory and $28,700, name this world-famous theater. Radio City Musical. You win it all the way! You know, as most of you know, the Joker's Wild has been on the air for a great many years, starting in 1972. And I can't recall that this has ever happened this way before in all these years and all the hundreds of shows that we've done. It's an absolutely staggering thing to imagine, but you have clearly won this game, and in a moment you'll get a chance to face the devil again. Adrian, will you ever forget this moment? No, <laughs> never, as long as I live. Well, it's a horrible thing for you, I'm sure. But you are a good sport, you're still smiling, and backstage will be some nice consolation prizes. A very big hand for Adrian Carver. And we'll be back against the devil after this. <laughs> the man has tried to avoid him, and he's going to do it again. For the eighth time, come on over here, Al Shearer. You know, Jay, Jay Stewart, our announcer, leaned his head out and said, how would you like to borrow that suit? <laughs> and I, I might, I might. We'll see how lucky your luck continues. You could win a microwave and a pewter set and a rocker and a recliner, a camera, and that trip to Peru, all of which amounts to some 3,000 and some odd dollars in prizes. You would, again, go up very close to Mark Luckman's record of $33,000, but you have to avoid the devil. Give him a spin. Okay. I think that rubber the suit is starting to come back. First one, you get 150, 50, and 100. 100, 200, 300 dollars if you stop now. Up to you. You can stop now or risk it all. No, I want to go. Okay. Risking 300. 75, 200, yes. That's double. 400, 500, 600. So all at stake, the trip to Peru. I'd love to see South America. He wants to go to South America. Okay, let's go. 275 dollars There you go. $925. Well, let's go. We're on a tear. One hundred, one hundred, all the way! Not only did you go over the top, but you went over the top in a very big way. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, eleven hundred. $1,200, $1,250, plus the microwave, the pewter set, the rocker recliner, the camera, the trip to Peru. All told, remember, the highest amount ever won in the history of this program was $33,575. And ladies and gentlemen, and Hal, this young man has now clearly and firmly moved into second position because his total winnings at this point, with more to come, 
$32,750 more and you're the all-time champ. We'll find out if you can do it right after this. I'm Helen. That you are $825 short of becoming the highest money winner in the history of this program. I shall tell you, too, in addition to offering my congratulations, that we have no more time to decide that issue on this show. You'll be back next program? I will be back. I knew you would. <laughs> and it is possible, for those of you who are watching, that on the very next program, he could go over the top and become the highest money winner. Jack Barry, I know we'll see you all on the next show. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>